So this is my little man that sits at my feet all day, every day. He's my little cheer squad while I'm online doing telehealth consults all day long. He's my little supporter. So I just wanted to show my little old man who helps me through the day. And, uh, and then I wanted to share with you my patients. So sorry, I'm back in mum mode now, ready to pick up the kids from school. But I just wanted to share with you my patient of the day who was this beautiful mum. Well, actually, I saw some really beautiful, well, I often see beautiful parents, but I saw this beautiful mum who was really worried about her um, her little ones, her, her old is he's 11 months, really worried about how much he was eating because she just felt that he wasn't eating nearly as much as the other um, kids in her mother's group, which good on mother's group, love them, but sometimes they can really make you feel inadequate. So she felt that he wasn't eating nearly as much as some of the other kids. And she sent me all of these um, amazing um, food diary and all these pictures. I tell you what, she feeds him so well. They both like, you know, the parents feed him really, really well. He wasn't eating a whole lot up until probably about three weeks ago or eating less because he wasn't hungry because having four or five bottles of 240 was a formula per 24 hours. So since she's reduced him to about three bottles, he's actually starting to eat a bit more because before he was just sort of squishing it in his hands and dropping it and I'm not eating a whole lot. But that was because he probably wasn't um, hungry because babies and young children have a really innate ability to self-regulate their appetite. So um, he just wasn't that hungry. So he was interested. He was touching it and, you know, playing with that. And he was eating some, but he just wasn't eating a whole lot. And that was really stressing her out because she was concerned that he wasn't getting enough compared to others his age. But then he was drinking a lot of formula compared to others his age. So I think it's um, about making sure that there's a good balance of milk and um, food. And I just wanted to give a shout out there to all the bums that are worried about what their little ones are eating because there's a huge uh, range of what is uh, appropriate for a child that's you know 10 11 months and some will um, be really advanced with their intake and will be eating three meals a day plus some snacks whereas others are still working on increasing their intake especially those that are still having a bit more in the way of um, breast milk or formula so we talk through that we talk through um, ways to transition um, up with solids and down with formula over time. We talked about staying on formula rather than switching to cow's milk at one because formula is actually richer in nutrients such as iron and zinc and vitamin D and a bit lower in protein. Uh, and so we talked about all of those things. I directed her to my Introducing Solids webinar because I think that will be also helpful for her over time um, in terms of looking at um, ways that we can maximize gut health and yeah just to reinforce some of the concepts that i talked about in the session but she was doing so well and i just wanted to give a shout out there to all the mums who are uh, worried about their little ones um that are you know that eight nine ten eleven months that you try to increase their solids and you're not sure if they're eating enough um, as long as you're uh, repeatedly giving them good quality food throughout the day they've got small tummies so they're not necessarily going to eat huge amounts in any given um, sitting and they'll be hungry at some parts of the day and not hungry at other parts of the day. So as long as you're offering them those healthy foods throughout the day, that's all you can do. Let them eat to appetite, don't pressure them. Uh, they were some key uh, things that we focused on today in the session. What else did we talk about? Oh, we talked about um, iron and zinc rich foods and ways to boost protein because this little one uh, left some of the meats and um, chicken uh, that maybe they found a little bit too uh, tricky as a texture and that's very common as well. My daughter was like that as well. So uh, we talked about increasing um, good quality uh, protein such as legumes, nuts and seeds, ways to get those in um, and also ways to um, enhance the absorption of iron and zinc from those foods, those uh, plant sources of iron and zinc to maximize the absorption because vitamin C certainly does help that. So we talked about that as well. Covered a lot of ground, but I think at the end of the day, I reassured her and made her realize that she was doing a great job and that that reduction in formula was gonna help him have an appetite to start to eat more food and that she was doing great and that she just needed to keep going. 
So that was my one of my um, great patients of today that I sure thought that I would share with you. And if any of you are feeling this way, um, that's totally normal. Uh, reach out to me if you want to. Um, on, in my shop, I've got some um, good webinars to watch on introducing solids and fussy eating. Um, and on my free info page, I've got handouts on um, various things. Uh, some things that you have to buy, like in my recipe book and my pantry checklist um, and my menu plan. Um, but you can find all of that information uh, in the shop. And yeah, this was just a shout out to all you mums out there um, to say that you are probably doing very well, better than you think. So I hope you um, yeah, have the confidence to keep going. Keep offering them those healthy foods. Repeated exposure is key. You need, you know, 15 exposures they need with the food often before they necessarily commit to eating that food. So that whole, you know, touching, squeezing, smearing it everywhere, dropping on the floor, um, it's all part of it. So it's part of that experience with um, food and eventually that will lead them to accept that food and bring it into their repertoire and eat it. So I said to her, just keep up the variety, non-pressurized environment, environment um, start to eat with him as he's getting to one year of age and, and have fun. Food should be fun. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. I hope you're all really well. See ya.